Hi, in this video I will show how you can install Coursera 1.0 in your hosting. So first of all log in to your cPanel or your hosting, whichever hosting you are using. Then download the Coursera from Envato and you will get installable.zip file. So you have to upload this installable.zip file in your hosting. If you upload it under the public HTML folder, you will be able to visit the website after visiting your base URL but I have installed it under a uh, subfolder of the public HTML which is Coursera so I will be able to visit my website after the base URL slash Coursera the folder name so let me go to the base URL first this is the base URL and as I have kept in in uh, Coursera folder so I have to visit this so right now there is nothing I did not upload anything so let's upload installable.zip file in the Coursera folder so you can see the uh, installable.zip file has been uploaded now let's go to the folder again and refresh it you can see this zip file then extract this zip file now refresh it and you will see all the folders now delete the installable.zip file now let's refresh this page again so you can see an installer here so let's go to check permissions uh, check requirements these are the extensions which are required if any extension is missing then it will show a red cross icon here so in my case all the extensions are present let's check the permissions you have to give this folder 775 permission so let's first go to code storage framework folder storage and the framework folder let's change the permission to 775 you can see this permission has been changed now you can change the other folders permission in the same way so I have changed all three folders permission now refresh this page and you can see the tick mark let's click on verify license and you will have to insert your email address and the inverter username and your item purchase code here so I am going to pause this video so I have entered the very license and the username and mails and I have come to this page let's enter the app name let's say we are going to give the app name Coursera then we are going to give the URL so this is the URL so now you have to give your database host it can be different in your case uh, you can find this database host um, let me show where you can find this So this is where the host will be in my case the local host is the database host so I can take local host so this is the database host and database name and database username and password this need to be created first so I need to create a database and a user of the database so let's go to my school database wizard and create a database so I'm going to name it Coursera test because I have already a database named Coursera click on next step this is the username I'm going to create a password so copy this password I have copied the password use this password here create this user let's note the username and the database name after that all the privilege give all the privilege and click next step so the database has been created now if I refresh it here you can see that 
export cell underscore test this is the database this is currently empty i need to copy the database name this is the database name and this is the username the password is here so after that click on install it has been installed successfully now click on click here to exit you will see that it's installed under your website url so if you want to go to admin panel you can just write admin after the url and your admin default admin and password is admin and password is also admin so click on login this is the admin dashboard so thank you for watching this is how you will install Coursera.